we knocked out all the windows and the sunlight came streaming in and there was a huge explosion. That was it. All right, Charles. What really happened? Jerry Dandridge was a serial murderer, a cult worshiper, a kidnapper. He abducted my girlfriend, Amy, and my friend, Ed Thompson, and this triggered a defense mechanism in my brain, which caused me to imagine he was a vampire. And was Jerry Dandridge a vampire? No, no, there's no such thing. How do you know? Because vampires don't exist. Hard to leave, Doc. I mean, three years. It is a lot of therapy. Charles, what are you feeling right now? A little scared. Scared? Of vampires? <laughs> no, to be honest, I think I'm scared of running into Peter Vincent. Yes, because you both thought you saw the same thing. Disturbing, but remember... No, no, I, I know group hypnosis is powerful stuff. It isn't that. No. He killed your best friend. And even though it was self-defense, you still have ambivalent feelings towards him. Yeah. We've certainly gone over that. He's called a few times. I never called him back. Maybe I should. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's silly. We're all silly, Charles. Look, go see the man. Get it over with. Remember, his fears can't possibly hurt you. Can they? Saying it's only a movie, right? Wrong. Evil is powerful. Monsters are real. The forces of darkness are at work everywhere. Now, I know. I have gazed into the jaws of the beast. I have felt his claws at my throat. I have seen his burning eyes, smelled his rancid breath. Where's the script? Oh, Where's the damn script? There is no telling where... He's impossible! He just throws the scripts away, Mel. Listen, Alex, this may get a little weird. All of our dates are weird, Charlie. And now, on to uh, tonight's feature, in which, unfortunately, I do not appear. And let's go to commercial. Okay, Peter. Thank you. Take two seconds. Stand by. Thank you very much. Charlie. Oh, it's so good to see you again. Listen, Peter, I'm sorry I didn't return any of your phone calls. Oh, no, 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 I understand. You had to put all of that behind you. Does she know about, uh... About the vampires, Mr. Vincent? Sorry, I couldn't help but over here. And yes, I know, Charlie has told me all about the vampires. Of course he has. Forewarned is forearmed. Now, oh, yeah. To... The unending task of conquering the forces of evil wherever they might appear. <laughs> so I was standing at the top of the staircase. This was supposed to retract. <laughs> but it didn't. <laughs> so you see, I almost stabbed him right through the heart. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, but my dear girl, the very best story of them all is the one that Charlie's already told you. Oh, no, thank you. 
the things that we saw and we did. Oh, I mean, you wouldn't believe half of it. No, I probably wouldn't, Mr. Vincent. To those days, gone, but not forgotten. <laughs> Come along, my dear. I guess you're a rat. Oh, yeah, please forgive me for rattling on this way, but they, they tell me when you get older, Papa seems to be much more attractive than that. Thanks very much, but no thanks. Well, the fearless vampire killer. Sorry I put you through that. No, he's very sweet and very eccentric. Do you think I should have let him have it, told him the truth? I think you handled it beautifully. You spared his feelings. He really does believe in vampires, though, doesn't he? Let me show you something I believe in. Um, I'll be right back. Oh, you want me to go with you? What for? Well, I... Uh, just thought you might be a little jittery, that's all. Don't do that. I'm sorry. Yeah, come on, let's let's get out of here. What is it, Charlie? Is something wrong? Because if there is, you no. can talk to me about it. No. Really, that's I want to hear you. Let's just go. Okay. okay. Come here. Charlie, I think I'd better warn you. I have a 7 o'clock class tomorrow. People actually go to school at 7 in the morning? That's idiotic. It's insane. It's un-American. It's behavior 101, and I have to get up early and study because I've got a quiz, and I'm not exactly acing it. Oh, course. no. A B, poor baby. <laughs> Thank you. 
right, Charlie? Oh. Alex. What, what are you gonna... What I you... said good night. Cher, why don't you pull down the shade? Someone could be out there, you know. Supposed to bite her on the neck. Oh, man. Charlie. 
Alex? One, there are no vampires. Two, there is a rational explanation for this. Three, that was very rude. Four, she is incredibly beautiful. Five, there are no vampires. <clears throat> You're not Charlie. Yes, I am. I'm Charlie. Charlie Brewster. But not Charlie Cassidy. Sorry to wake you. I must have the wrong dormitory. Charlie. Do you have a light? Sh sure. Um. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, come in. Thanks. You mind if I smoke? Oh. No, uh, not at all. Please do. You. Got it, thanks. I'd kill for a cup of coffee. Uh, instant? Be all right? Drink a lot of this during finals, you know? Gotta stay up all night. You remind me of someone. Is that, uh, Charlie Cassidy? No, that's my cousin. This guy had a mouth like yours, good lips. And he knew how to use them. Do you know how to use your lips, Charlie? Talk to you. Alex. Charlie. Yeah. You're white as a sheet. Yeah. I want to talk to you too. I'm, I'm really sorry. I don't know what came over me. You didn't seem like yourself at all. No, I, I wasn't. And well, after I got to being mad at you, I got worried. Well, please forgive me. Nightmare. It's silly. You 
You thought I was a vampire, didn't you, Charlie? I guess I'm not really over it. Well, it still has the ability to scare you, that's for sure. Hydriomena Nublio fasciata. Guts crawling into my bed, Miss Young. Oh, but I've got my clothes on, Mr. Brewster. Yes. And that is a subject I would like to take up with you at a more appropriate time. My clothes? Sex. Charles, I hope I won't disappoint you to learn this is quite normal. The more we focus on a stimulating object, the more likely we are to review that object in our subconscious, okay? It just seems so real. She was right there. In your dream, Charles. Charles, this is someone you saw for the first time in the dark lobby last night. And you say she was very seductive. And that you're more than a little bit attracted to her? Yeah, I guess so. Nothing to be ashamed of. Now, look, something to knock out those dreams for a while. Let's see, I got you there. Now. Just say no. I understand. Why don't you get some exercise? Go bowling. Bowling? Doctor's orders, pal. Yeah, I felt kind of stupid at first, but you know what? It's really fun. Y you want to roll a few? I don't think so. Suit yourself. Hey. Kind of bright in here for your stud? As a matter of fact, yes. But Doc's right, though. I do feel better than I did before. I'm just so sleepy. Shoot. I had a surprise, but I don't think you're in any shape to go. Go where? Civic Symphony, Aethro Center, Mahler. Oh, my God, the pain. All right, buddy. No, 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 I'd, I'd love to go. I wouldn't want to miss old Gustav. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I'll take a nap before class. I'll pick you up what time? Um, I'll be coming from work, so let's say eight. Producer. 
Richie, what time is it? Quarter to eight. Didn't you have a class this afternoon? Quarter to eight? Good grief. I've been asleep for six hours. Can I borrow this tie? For six years of college and you still don't own a tie? No! No! The black knit you can borrow, not the blue silk. There's not enough money to buy bucks rental. Take the blue silk. Who are you trying to impress tonight? Art women. Bohemian bodies. Thanks, pal. Doing this is ridiculous. Excuse me. Would you happen to have an extra ticket? 
I'd be more than happy to buy it from you. I guess you're in luck. I guess you're right. Not a dream. Charlie. Peter, it's happening again. And then she looked at me, Peter. I swear to God, she was smiling. Well, uh, uh, this certainly does require some thought. Peter, please, there's no time to think about it. Oh, oh yes, Charlie, there is time. I mean, look at the time. If they are what you say they are, and I'm... If? You don't believe me? You, of all people? Or is it just that you're scared? Well, not that that hurt, Charlie. I didn't say I didn't believe you. Look, I live here. I can hardly go breaking into my neighbor's apartments, accusing them of being vampires if... Well, what you say you saw was in fact... What? Uh, was in fact what? Oh, was in fact uh, something that uh, appeared to be what you say you saw. Oh, if you, you sound just like I mean. my shrink. A friend of mine is in trouble. I'm not going to let this happen again. I'm going up there right now with or without you. And do you mind if I borrow these? Charlie. You got a crucifix? What holy water? Garlic? Yes, yes. Oh, Charlie. Uh, fools rush in. I do hope you exercise some restraint for my sake. If you're so skeptical, why did you change into that? Get carried away, guys, all right? It's a party. Looks like, but don't let your guard down. There he is. Ooh. That's him on the couch. Look how pale he is. Richie. You're in trouble. I want to help. I could use a Perrier. I'll get it. Richie, you can do something about this. We know exactly what you're going through. Look, man, I drank too much, okay? I'm not an alcoholic, okay? And I don't need a sermon, okay? Yeah, I wasn't talking okay. at Okay. My good man, would you be so kind? Um, 
It, uh, it's the wrong thing to do, Brewster. Sorry, I, I guess I was wrong. I owe you an apology. Oh, no, no, don't be silly. You had a good reason for feeling the way that you did. Man, such a thing simply couldn't happen twice, Charlie. Yeah, let's get out of here. So soon. while you're in town? Here and there, nothing formal. I'm mainly here on personal business. So you're an actress? Performance artist. You thought maybe I was the real thing? I take that as a compliment. Astonishing. Absolutely astonishing. I'm Regine. Dear lady. Enjoy the party. She's a performance artist. Uh, there's a logical explanation. Oh my God, Alex!
You'll have to get closer than that. Over the centuries, one develops a bit of tolerance for some of the trappings. What do you want? Let's talk about blood, Mr. Vincent. It's very precious to me. Jerry Dandridge was a thousand years old when you spilled his blood. He was my brother, Mr. Vincent. Your punishment won't be as severe as Charlie Brewster's. You came reluctantly, didn't you? You're a coward, aren't you? But you will pay, Mr. Vincent. You will pay. Classical music tits, huh? Uh, I don't think he likes you. That's cool. I don't like him either. <laughs> more like it, dude. I really appreciate you walking me home. Hey, no offense, but your boyfriend's really got to be a weenie standing up a dynamite girl like you. You're sweet. Good night, Louie.
I'm sorry. For the last couple of days, I have felt so incredibly strange. Me too. Maybe it's the full moon, Charlie. I can't sleep. I can't concentrate in class. Look at the time. I should have been in the library 20 minutes ago. Maybe we are falling in... I came to college to be a clinical psychologist, Charlie. Mel! 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 Vampires! Quick, I've got to get on the air. Peter, Chicky, the routine is passe. It's stale city. The show needed some pizzazz, no, sir, I some am not juice. talking about the show. I'm talking... My set. What is happening to, to my set? Okay. No more games. You're fired. Fired? You can't fire me. Fright Night is my show. <laughs> well, not anymore, babe. Oh, no. Perfect, Mel. <laughs> can't you see that is just what she wants? So, Mel, please. Please, you've got to help me stop her. Please. Hey, you shut up please. and listen to me. If I ever, ever see your face around here again, I'm having you arrested and put away. You got that? Mr. Fearless Vampire Killer. And, and so I got scared and I went to see Peter and of course there was a rational explanation for everything. I mean, I knew that all along. Maybe just... subconsciously you just didn't want to go out with Maybe, me. maybe it was the culture part. Maybe I was a little intimidated. Fear of culture. Charlie, that might also explain your fascination with low-grade melodramas. I am so proud of you. It is very hard whoa, to explore whoa, 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 your fears. Wait, wait a minute, what do you mean low-grade melodramas? Well, I mean, Bloodsuckers from Beyond isn't oh, did exactly... did you see Bloodsuckers from Beyond? No, but... Well, then you don't know what you're talking about, do you? Charlie. God, it makes me mad when people do that. I mean, you included, Alex. There happens to be some great literature from the field. Did you ever read Dracula? Oh, no. God, it's a great book, Alex, a great book. There I go again. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were so passionate about it. There are other subjects I am far more passionate about. Let's have dinner with me. I have got to study. I'll bring, you, I'll bring you dinner in the library. I'll bring my books. I'll study. You'll be an inspiration to me. Come on, let's try it. Just once. Come on. Charlie! Oh! Oh, I'm so glad I found you both. I've been looking for you all over. Peter! I am petrified. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. You were right. It is happening again. Peter, what we saw last night was an act by a performance artist. That's all it was, Peter, an act. She didn't cast any reflection. Peter, that's just part of her act. That is not true. Think of what happened before, what we went through together. I think you're wasting your breath, Mr. Vincent. Peter, listen to me. There are no vampires. I warned you. I warned you. Natural ingredients. I made the tomato sauce fresh this morning. I had that canned crap, freshly grated Parmesan Romano, the leanest sausage in town. Hey, you convinced me. Bacon with no nitrites in it, organic artichoke hearts. Oh, yeah. And my special secret ingredient a whole bulb of garlic on each pizza.
Tri-City Community College was found dead this morning in a cemetery just outside of town. No details are available at this time, however, police do suspect foul play. Richard Green, a business and accounting major, was 22 years old. Additional information regarding this case is being withheld by the authorities. Zutermopsis angusticollis.
to death. Sorry. <laughs> you look great scared. It's too quiet up here tonight. It's kind of spooky. <laughs> yeah. I think we're the only ones here, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Louis, I'd like to talk, but it's not the right time. Oh, hey, boyfriend's coming, right? Yeah, well, you know, he really is a lucky guy. Listen, I've really got to get back to my... I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll come back through here, say, about nine. And if this lucky guy stands you up again tonight, let me buy you a cup of coffee. Deal? All right. But he's coming. You might as well not waste your time. Nine. <laughs> okay. Oh, you nail Oh, hey, relax, man. This is getting very interesting, very romantic. I have a date with her tonight. Oh, see? Louis hasn't forgotten the joys of good old-fashioned sex, okay? Hey, that's the boyfriend. Hey, I gotta take him out so I could take her out. You know what I mean. He's not yours. You might amuse yourself some other way. Bowling, perhaps. Bowling? Oh, no, you don't. We're all through for today. You can say that again, partner. <laughs> Dracula? You're reading Dracula? A great book, Charlie. A truly great book. You read that whole book since we talked this afternoon? All of a sudden, I feel like I know you a little bit better. I love your taste in literature. And I'm sorry about what I said this afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Alex. Hmm? There's something I, w I wanted to tell you, but I, I can't remember what it was. Something important. Well, it'll come back to you. <sighs> Here you go. You gotta play to win, Bozzy. Never fall behind, man. In <laughs> fact, you should always try and pull ahead. <laughs> well, hey, it's just a joke, man. It's just a joke. No. <laughs> okay, you want to play rude with me? Ah, one final touch. Without the television, Charlie. The guest of honor, Johann Sebastian. 
Philharmonic via satellite. Oh. Channel 28. I'm impressed. Ah, Fright Night. Good evening. Where's Peter? Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special treat for you. The celebration of a very special, very unique talent. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the new host of Fright Night, Regine. seen your face somewhere. What do you do? Vampire killer. <laughs> Say what? Vampire killer. <laughs> Come on, man. What do you do? What is the matter with you, friend? Are you hard appearing? I kill. do that special makeup oh kind of faint. I'll, I'll get you some water. I'll be right back. Kind of an emergency now. You're hurting my arm. Ooh. Well, it makes your face look real pretty. <laughs> Tough chair. Charlie! Oh. Charlie. He's coming, isn't he? <laughs> What's the problem? No problem, dude. I'm just getting to know your girlfriend a little bit better. Is that all right with you? <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> it's party time. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
was not group hypnosis. Right, okay, Miss Regine, coming out of commercial, and five, four, three. Roses, Alice. If you hadn't read the book. I would never have known. <laughs> How can this be happening, Charlie? This is not possible. There has got to be a logical explanation for all of this. Welcome to Fright Night. And remember, like my predecessor, the fearless vampire killer used to say, the forces of darkness are everywhere. Wait a minute. Hey, hey, watch. Ah! Hey, ah! 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 No, no, don't stop. Don't, don't stop. Hey, watch his gap. Get him. 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 God, that's tragic. I grew up watching him. It's like he's stuck in one of his old movies. What can we do with him? State hospital? Hour after hour, saying the same thing. Oh, Mr. Vincent, we really care. We just want to help you get better. Get better? There's nothing wrong. Look, if you really want to help, just go out there, catch the vampires, bring them here so I can kill them. Okay, Mr. Vincent, have it your way. State hospital. State hospital? No! Oh, no, 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 I'm the same as you are. You are doing something you are going to All right, son. You can go. Oh, Doctor, thank you so much for coming. I didn't know who else to call. It looks like you got yourself in a lot of trouble. There's here. so much to explain, Doctor. I don't even know where to begin. We want to post bond for Charles Brewster. I'm afraid you're a little late, miss. Somebody beat you to it. Who? I can't give you a name, but I can tell you she sure wasn't from around here. We've got to find Peter Vincent right away. Late again, miss. a vampire, my friend. No, a, a real vampire. Not one of those fantasy ones yet, but these idiots. They don't believe you, do they? No. No, they think you're wacko, just like the rest of us. You're right. Yeah, well, they're the ones who are crazy, man. Oh. I believe you, Mr. Vincent. I believe you. I'm sorry, Doctor. I know how far-fetched all this must sound. Getting someone released from state hospital is no small matter. As an aspiring professional, you know the compromising position this could put me in. generating a lot of anxiety for yourself, Alex. Why don't you do some deep breathing? Come on. Again. Doctor. I don't think there's a train. under a lot of stress lately. What 
you need is a nice, long rest. <laughs> something of what you're feeling, and it's important for you to experience that. I'll take care of it myself. I think I got it. Here they go. I need to see Peter Vincent, please. He's just been admitted. Come back tomorrow. All the doctors have gone home. You must let me in. This is a matter of life and death. I'm Mr. Vincent's doctor. You here for the movie? What? The Peter Vincent movie. You know, he's got to get out of here so we can kill a vampire. Peter. What? You know, you never give me a chance. Whoops. Where's the doctor? I'm the doctor. And I'm Smokey the Bear, honey. Don't mess with me, lady. I have had ten, that is ten full sessions at Engelberg today. At lunch, I talked to Jumper down from the bell tower at City Hall. I have got a patient who is in the wrong hospital. Now I'm going to get grief from you because I still look like a teenager. I've got some ID. Do you want some? What do you need? AMA card, National Association of Clinical Psychologists, ID number, Diners Club. Nurse, while I check the patient, I would appreciate it if you got his transfer papers ready. Doctor, this is highly irregular. Just do it. Hello, doctor. Well, I'm not happy that you'd lie to me. Liar. Oh. Everybody's a crook. Everybody's on crime for crimes. Hey, talk to me. Oh, good. What are those? Hmm. Walk to me. Talk to me. Love it, boy. Hey. Mm-hmm. Okay, Mr. Vincent, you can go kill your vampire now. Friends in the strangest of places. Mr. Vincent. They call me Peter. Do you think Charlie is all right? I don't know, my dear. It is war. We must prepare. Holy water. We need communion wafers. Communion wafers? You mean this stuff kills vampires? Am I gonna go to hell for this? And 
I am just borrowing this. I promise. Soon you'll taste blood for the first time. Soon you'll be one of us. Do you know why I've done this to you, Charlie Brewster? Because soon you'll be immortal. You'll live forever. And it's forever that I'll torture you. This was from Screen for Your Supper. Blood Feast on Broadway. Here. Oh, it's from Jaws of the Vampire. Beast of Budapest, Fangs of Fear, Carnage Castle. Oh, they don't make them like that anymore. No, we forgot what? the rope. Oh, this is creatures from Carpathia. Oh. <laughs> we doing? I cannot go dangling from a rope like Tarzan. But if we don't try... I don't think this is a very good idea. Whoa. Ah! Got off the slab at the morgue just to be here tonight. <laughs> it's great you're joining up. I really mean that, Charlie. How could this have happened? Oh, no, Regine's pissed at you, but she has a great sense of humor. It'll blow over. Like some hot tea? No. Thank you. You tell me eventually I won't want to eat or drink anything. I suppose I'll miss that. Richie. Mm -hmm. Why weren't there any puncture wounds in your neck? What? At the party? Makeup. Piece of cake. I thought you might. Oh. You better 
Hang on, Thirsty, Charlie. Come kiss me. Charlie, no. Charlie, please listen to me. Ah! time. Charlie Brewster, I said I loved you.
She's ripping the thing apart. Yes. Ripping out the floor. She wants to go down. Down where, Charlie? A coffin. At the bottom. I remember now. At the bottom. We've got to hurry. Somebody's got to go down there. No. We'll wait till the sun gets higher. It'll be too late. The sunlight will kill me. Or I'll have to follow her. I've got to go down and cut her off. You close in from the top. You can't face her alone. You go with him. I'll take care of this. Hey, now, Peter, hurry, go on. many hundreds of years old. You've destroyed it for me. But one mustn't get too attached to material things. And besides, I have plenty of other places to hang my hat. You just don't know. Convenient access to miles of tunnels. Looks like your friend's given up. Goodbye, fearless vampire killer.
and I held on as tightly as I could, keeping her in the light, until finally she went up in smoke. Well, and you know the rest. Yes, I certainly do know the rest. Only, who am I gonna tell it to? Well, try me, I'll believe you. No rational explanation required. Charlie? Hmm. What if there are more of them out there? Forewarned is forearmed, as Peter says. We go on with our lives, duly fortified. We rent an apartment together. Yeah, maybe get married, maybe make some babies. Maybe buy a farm. You know, I'll get a mule. I'll buy a banjo. Sure. Takes practice, you know. Well, playing the banjo? Making babies. <laughs> Show. Sure.